At Vancouver's Renegade Studios, rehearsals are underway for a new musical from Beyond the Galaxy. We spoke with the writers and creators of the show to explain what it's all about. Uh, my name is Catherine Stadel. I am the director slash co-writer slash producer of G. Williker Space. And I'm Tony Maggio. I am also the co-writer and I am uh, Lord Nefarious in the show. Our original idea was try to make a solid female character in a show, which we were very yeah. successful on in this particular production. Yeah. But not scared, though it's a lot of Going into outer space. What the hell's on that guy's face? I won't let you down. Cause I'm your hero. Uh, so it's set in space and it's two different um, ships that take off in search of Magnorius, which is this all encompassing sort of uh, element that they use for everything and they're dependent on now. And they go off and search for it and then end up on this mysterious planet and meet this mysterious villain and then get into all sorts of misadventures. I heard the third time is a charm. Trust in me, what's the home the I come back with zero? Ignite! Watch it burst into flame. Meanwhile, on Granville Island, unknown to most passers-by, the Arts Club Scene Shop is the home of amazing creations. It's here that the retro-futuristic sets for G. Willikers Space are coming together. We're here with Chris White, and he's going to tell us all about what we're, what we're seeing here. This is the Earth Hero ship. This is called the Bell. Uh, I sort of modeled all this stuff after a bus, so we're calling this one the Space Bus, sort of taken after a 1956 uh, Chevy Bel Air is the paint scheme on it. Uh, because the space is so small and we have to go to multiple locations like a planet, uh, the other side is going to be uh, sort of a bad Star Trek rock is what we're going for. You know, it's all 1950s bad sci-fi. It's looking better than I thought, so I'm happy with it. <laughs> it's looking too good, oh no! <laughs> I know, the production value's gotten too high. 